Last night at the harness racing, it was Derby night. A wonderful night of pacing out there, and one of the highlights was the Lynn White Memorial Cup. Raging Bull led at the 400. Two metres, Bart Gamble, Springfield Rajar, three deep. On the inside, Speed Partner going half pace. Garnet Bay not going on at the moment, and Young Pride making ground out wide. But Raging Bull led into the straight. Two metres to Bart Gamble, Springfield Rajar hung. Still nowhere to go on the inside is Speed Partner. Raging Bull in front, Springfield Rajar gradually cutting it down on the outside and getting up on the rails, but too late. Maybe Speed Partner, he's flying. He might get up, he will. Speed Partners won at a half head. Second placing to Raging Bull, maybe uh, Springfield Rajah. Well, third. it was a dream run, but a great win to Speed Partner, a 10 to 1 from Raging Bull, 7 to 2, Springfield Rajah, 12, and the favourite disappointing Young Pride at 11 to 4. The big one of the night and a magnificent race. The best derby field in, in uh, length and strength that I've ever seen went around in race five. Here's Brian Markovic's call. 400 stand out, two metres to Van der Poort. Bag limit, three wide, making ground. Pride of Hillary, four wide. Power of Carome held up, followed by Colonel Sam. Then Victory Stride, Barmer King, Wolf of Karamir and Cable Car. On the turn of the 2.20 and Van der Poort on the outside draws two metres in front of stand out. Bag limit, the danger on the outside and Power of Carome out in the clear, starting a storm home. It's Vanderport two metres in front of Bag Limit. Power of Carome wearing them down. Vanderport just in front. Bag Limit in the centre grabbing Vanderport and Power of Carome near the line. And Bag Limit's won the Victoria Derby. A metre and a half to Vanderport. Third home in the race, Power of Carome. Wonderful race, the Derby. Bag Limit, the nine to four favourite scoring from Vanderport and Power of Carome. Let's have a look at the third leg of the quaddy. Off the back of the 400 and Copper Class drew two metres in front. Now three metres to Keystone Lucy. Six metres away, Keeling Flat, followed by Chindy. Then Wings of Mercury, Barefoot Bay, Murniong Way, Accelerator, Walhalla Miss, Easy Key, and ten metres away, Struth. On the turn, though, at the 200 and Copper Class shot away by four metres to Keystone Lucy. Chindy making ground with Keeling down the outside, but it's all Copper Class with 80 metres to go. She's six metres to Keystone Lucy, Keeling, Chindy, and Walhalla misses flying down the outside but copper class wins easily by six meters keystone lucy second maybe keeling third and copper class eight to one won the event with the unplaced favorite keeling 13 to eight now the last leg of the quali and quite famous uh, an odds on favorite well back in the race, Demon Hero in Rallo and Band of Gold. On the turn though at the 300 and Toby Dwayne lays down the gauntlet to Quite Famous. They're clear by six metres to cross time, followed by Evening Tyros and Bonnie Black in the straight at the 200 and Toby Dwayne drew two metres in front of Quite Famous. Cross time is making ground down the outside. The favourite's gone, Quite Famous. Toby Dwayne three metres in front. Cross time is trying very hard. Toby Dwayne in front though near the line and Toby Dwayne gets home two metres, two cross time for me toby duane six to one and quite famous the three to one on favorite now may i remind you that the glenroy lions club are holding a hole in one competition all day today at the oak park reserve pasco vale road great prizes including a trip for two to launceston now the ultimate inter dominion next saturday night it's going to be a wonderful night of pacing and also champion trotters are going to be there so get there if you can gates open 4 30 marsha hines in concert at 5 45. it's going to be great so is this afternoon's television of the big one from man with the